Hey guys, and welcome to Monarch's Market. Hope everyone is getting ready for an amazing Thanksgiving week with your family or as much of your family as you can spend with. I know we all have to be super safe right now, and I hope that everyone is safe. But today I have for you some cute little farmhouse Christmas ornaments that I made from the Arteza wood slices. Now, these are the smaller wood slices, but they're still like three inches round, most of them. They vary in sizes, but they are so cute. And how I did these is I just took six of each and I painted some of them white, some of them black, and some of them red, just to have a variety of the colors that I'm using in my home. Now, when I painted the middle of it, I did leave just a little bit of the edge showing because I wanted that wood grain to show through. And believe it or not, even though some of the colors are dark, you can still see the lines in the wood because I didn't sand them or anything. They're just natural and they are raw and so cute and super farmhouse. So what I did is, like I said, I just kind of went with the natural wood grain. I didn't draw any circles or anything like that. It was really easy to take the paintbrush and just kind of go around and make a circle and fill it in. So that's what I did. Like I said, I did five, I'm sorry, six white, six black, So while these were drying, I went to my Cricut and printed out different Christmas sayings. And I put them on the white and the red ones. And then on the black ones, you'll see, I just had some different embellishments, some cotton and different things like that, that I put on there, just so that they weren't all the same. Even though the saying was different on every single one of them, I did want some of them without any writing on it and the little cotton just popped off of the black. So once I got them all weeded out and placed onto the little ornaments, I took some Mod Podge and just went over the top of them and got it all sealed in really good and, and protected. Now, if you'll notice, I am stringing these all on one string. And that may look silly, but let me tell you why I did that. It was so hard to get the little bit of tape wrapped around the end to where I could get it through that hole. And I knew that if I cut it in between each one, I would have to struggle to get that tape just right because those holes were pretty small in the ornament. So while I had a good fit for those holes, I just put the string through every single one of them 
Then I went back and pulled out the amount of string I needed for each one and cut it. So it may have looked silly, but it sure worked. And it saved me a lot of time and a lot of hassle of having to recut the string, retape it, and fight with it to get everything done. Once I did that, then I took some greenery from the Dollar Tree and cut it up and just embellished certain ones. I didn't do it on every one, but I did it on half of them. So like three of the whites, three of the red, and three of the blacks all had some greenery on it. And I did put some ribbon on all of them. I used the black and white gingham check from Dollar Tree and also the red and black gingham check from Dollar Tree. And just finished them off. And they turned out so cute and I was so proud of them. And believe it or not, once I posted them on my page, I have had so many orders for them. So I was kind of tickled about that too. So now I've had to order a couple of more boxes to fill all of these orders that I got. So this ended up being Now, if you're wondering cool what page I'm around. talking about, that is Modern's Market. You can find me here on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, all at Modern's Market. And once I make my little designs every week, I post them on my page. So you can actually get a sneak peek ahead of time of what's coming up on the following Monday's video if you follow me on Instagram and my Facebook page. So while I'm on that little spiel, if you're not already a subscriber to my page, I would love it if you would subscribe. Make sure you are hitting that little bell button if you subscribe. But either way, leave me a big thumbs up if you like what you see and leave me a comment. Those help support my channel more than you know. And it also keeps me encouraged to keep going. In the beginning, I wasn't getting very many subscribers and I got kind of discouraged but I just you know was consistent and kept going and now I'm almost up to 200 I think I'm like up to 160 something and I like to tell my numbers every week when I do my videos because I get so excited at every single one of you who come in and subscribe and become part of my little family and it's really cool for those of you who are going to be here a year from now so this is what the red ones look like they turned out so stinking cute and look at the black even though there's no writing on them i just thought they are adorable and then the white ones they they just all turned out so cute look at that these i think were my biggest hit were the white ones i've gotten a lot a lot of orders for them however i've gotten orders for all of them and there is all of them at once so leave me a comment and tell me what you think of these i was sure proud of them and i can't they wait actually to match tree. the colors that i have in my den every year so that is my diy number one now diy number two is a very special treat this is my granddaughter macy she wanted to make something now, I'm telling you, when I tell you she wanted to make it, this is 100% her. She asked me for one of my long paint sticks. And I was like, okay, what, I don't know what you could do with one long paint stick is what I was thinking. I didn't say that out loud, but I let her have it. And honey, let me tell you, the girl shocked me. She will be 11 years old on the 30th. So I just want to put a big shout out to my Macy girl and tell her a big happy birthday because it's coming up in the next day or two and she'll be 11 years old. But this project she did all by herself. Now this is the beginning of the footage. This is her first coat of paint. She was on the floor and it just didn't look comfortable to me. Now we thought we lost this footage. So you will hear her talking about losing the footage and you'll see me put a little note in there. But we really thought we lost this footage, but I was able to find it when I went back in and I just went through every single video I had until I found it. I knew it was there, but it was hidden somehow. So this is her first coat of paint. And once she got that on there and got it dried, we got her set up a little bit better. And then I'm going to let her take over talking. And I think you're going to get a kick out of this.
so now I'm going to let Macy take over for just a few minutes. So this is my second coat. I lost the footage of me doing my first one. This is my second one. And it doesn't take that much paint. Okay, I'm done doing the second coat. Now, all you need is, if I can get it, is a heat gun to dry it real fast. Dry it real fast, fast, fast. Oh man, it's tangled up. <laughs> tangled up with my face. Okay, I have some tangled. She finally do it. Moner, you're gonna copyright this all down. Copyright it. Copy voice it or whatever. Okay. Yeah. And this is my second cut. Say I lost the footage, okay? Because I, I did. Now, I am distressing. So, just dip it. And I do too. Look, we've been short staffed ever since Rick left. Plus, it's probably pretty good for me to keep us Test it up. Uh, I need it. See where I tried it out a bunch of times already. Well, let's just say that the three of us have uh, there we go. had a pretty complicated history. Isn't she just the cutest little thing? <laughs> I get tickled every time I hear her talk. People say I have a southern accent, but I hear it so strong in her. But once she got done, she went in with some of the little leftovers from my ornaments and took them. Now, I was asleep in my recliner at this point. <laughs> I was tired and I fell asleep. So she just rummaged through my things and found some embellishments for her little paint stick. And y'all, I am so proud of her. This was her idea. I know I've said it three or four times, but I mean, to be 10 years old and just go rummaging through modern stuff until you find something to make and then it turned out so cute. But the biggest deal of it all was when she showed it to me and I thought it was a gift for her mama. And I thought that her mama was going to be so excited. And I said, oh, your mama's going to be so proud of you when you give that to her. And she said, no, Monter, I made this for you. Honey, let me tell you, my heart melted all over the floor. So this is now proudly displayed in my den with my other Christmas things that I have up so far. So she found some little greenery that I had left over and she wrapped around the bottom of it and then she was done and it just turned out so cute and she turned an ordinary paint stick into this beautiful treasure that I will keep forever and I will display for every Christmas as long as I'm alive and I hope that once I'm gone she will take it and display it in her home but thank you Macy for joining us today Thank you for that special treat. You did a wonderful job, baby girl. I know she's watching. She always watches me. She is one of my subscribers. And there she is showing it off. So leave a message, a comment down there okay, below now, for her. Okay, now DIY number three. Done. I'm just so I proud of her. I found these candlesticks at the Dollar Tree down in Orlando. Now, I have to tell you, I go back and forth from Georgia to Orlando. I live right smack in between these two places. And you're talking about probably a two, three hundred mile radius in between these. I have been to every stinking Dollar Tree in this area. As far south as Atlanta, which is five hours away. And as far, um, I said south, I meant north. As far north as Atlanta. And as far south as down to, um, 
the Orlando area. I have not been able to find these candlesticks anywhere. And when me and Macy went to Disney World a few weeks back, I found a little hidden Dollar Tree that I didn't know I was passing all these times and went in there and found these candlesticks. Now, they had 30, and I like to have took every single one of them, but I left six behind. But my thought process was, if there's 30 of them here and they're nowhere else, then you can't find them anywhere. Now, this cannot load from iCloud. I posted this picture because I keep getting this message. Maybe some of you veterans can tell me why it won't post so that I can change whatever needs to be changed. But the footage that I lost was just me painting the bottom of this first one. So what I did is I took that white... Um, I keep wanting to say Waverly, but it's not. It's Apple Barrel paint, and it's just an acrylic paint. And painted the tops and bottoms and the candlesticks on both of these. I'm doing two of these tear trays, getting them ready for Christmas. Now, you can't put food food directly on top of this because this is not food safe. I do go back in and Mod Podge over the top of it. Now, I have some supposedly food safe Mod Podge that I used but I'm still only going to put things like cupcakes or something like that, or maybe a cake that is already on a separate plate on top of these. But as long as you have something under your food, you should be just fine to put your food on it. I just wouldn't put the food directly onto the plate. So anyway, I got it all painted. I ended up giving both of them two good coats of paint, and I love these little cake plates from the Dollar Tree. The scallops on them make them so cute and so high-end. And they're just adorable. Especially once you go back in and distress them. And when I distress them, this time, I use that real pretty moss green that you've seen me use so many times this year. I use the moss green on one of them. And on the other one, I used moss green and a little bit of truffle. And I just wanted to see what it would look like with the difference in the contrast. Uh, this is the one I put the brown in, too. And I liked them both ways. I can't say that I liked either one of them better than the other. And then once I got them all painted and they dried, I took these window clings that were left over from a wood round that I made and just put them right on top of the tray and mod podged them down and that was it and these were the easiest little tear trays that I have ever made now I think I skipped through the part where when I glued the candlestick onto the plate I used a Gorilla Glue which is exactly like the E6000 and I did that for the long term permanent hold and then I also used my glue gun my hot glue gun for that temporary hold that'll keep it in place until that Gorilla Glue dries. And then these things will last as long as you don't drop them and break either the glass candlestick or the plastic top. But I was kind of proud of these. They turned out super cute. And it I want to say they might have took me 30 minutes to make both of them. But here's the little red truck. I love this. It just turned out too cute. That looks like that's the one I put the brown on. And look at those little scallops on that plate. Aren't they just adorable? I cannot wait to display these and use them at Christmas. And this is just another view of my little red truck. And then I'll show you the one with the little deer. And when I posted these on my Facebook and Instagram, I got more likes and comments on the little deer one. I My favorite happens to be the little red truck, but I guess we have a lot of, a lot of good, I mean, a lot of deer lovers out there. I'm sorry, I got a text that just came through and I got sidetracked. I apologize. But these are my two cheer trays. I hope you have enjoyed what I brought to you today. Go to Arteza.com and get you some of those little wood rounds, especially if you're trying to make some extra Christmas money because they are so quick and easy, and so are these, and you can use anything. Now, you can go to the Goodwill and get you some old candlesticks 
and use for the bottoms of these tear trays. I have several of them that I've done. And they turn out really, really cute. But make you some. And we will see you next Monday. Actually, there are some challenges coming up through the week that I'm going to be a part of. So check me back out. Come back and see what I got going on. And thank you for watching. Have a very, very, very happy.